Diplomatic wrangling and uncertainty surrounds the fate of NSA leaker Edward Snowden. He's still believed to be in the Moscow airport, but there were no signs of him there Thursday. The 29-year-old faces espionage charges in the U.S. Traveling in Africa, President Barack Obama said the U.S. won't scramble military jets or engage in diplomatic bartering. I'm not going to have one case of uh, a suspect who we're trying to extradite uh, suddenly being elevated to the point where I've got to start doing wheeling and dealing and trading on a whole host of other issues uh, simply to get a guy uh, extradited. Meanwhile, Ecuadorian officials say a so-called safe conduct pass issued for Snowden is invalid. Ecuador has expressed sympathy for Snowden, but hasn't made a decision on whether to grant him asylum. Ecuador's Secretary for National Affairs says Snowden has to be on the country's soil for the asylum request to be processed. Yesterday, Iceland confirmed it has an informal request for asylum from Snowden, but like Ecuador, the request will only be considered if he's in the country. If Mr. Snowden comes to Iceland, he'd just have to ask for asylum like anyone else. Venezuela's president said his country would almost certainly take in Snowden, but there's been no such request. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.